for listening. And I just ask you that if you took some things down, if you wrote them down, that you pay them forward. And I'm going to ask you also that as a mother and as a woman, that you take the time to step out of your comfort zone, know your values, make your decisions based on your values, because when you make your decisions based on your values, your decisions will always be right. Thank you so much. So what did you think of Dr. Betty Uribe's talk? Inspiring and powerful. She's an amazing woman who has not only been a leader in her own life and family, but she clearly is making a big difference in the world. She is uh, exciting to listen to. Uh, it's more than hope that she's lifting up with, uh, shown by the statue. It's, it's uh, an understanding that who we are is that, uh, that reach to always keep reaching. My motto since sixth grade has been Excelsior, and it typified that for me. So I love watching her speak. I look forward to working with her, hopefully in the future. I uh, pay it forward TV, and I, you know, and she ended saying pay it forward. So we're, we're uh, compadres, we're, uh, what is the word in Spanish? Uh, so I, I feel very deeply about her and her values. They, I feel the same. Thank you. So I'm Renee. Um, I'm from Orange County, and I thought her talk was very inspiring. She has a lot of great things that she's bringing to the table, and what a story, right? Overcoming that adversity and changing her total life when she was young. So I think we all have those challenges, and I think she um, gave us some things to think about to overcome them for ourselves. Uh, literally, um, I came today specifically to see Dr. Betty speak. Um, I know her through a community called Critical Mass and uh, I was incredibly impressed with her presentation. I loved the fact that it was emotional, it was um, empathetic, it was uh, vulnerable, it was real, it was funny, um, it was everything that I was hoping for and more. Uh, my name is Jen Ma and I thought she was amazing and super inspiring and how much she has accomplished all her life. I would love to learn more about her story and hear more from her. Uh, hi, good afternoon. This is Dr. Betty Uribe at the California Women's Conference and we just finished uh, a round and I just got the opportunity and really the blessing to talk to women and men in the audience about values and about my trajectory in my life. and. Um, it's really humbling to realize that when you lead with a higher purpose and when you align your life with values, with true values, and when we um, make those decisions based on our values, how the universe just conspires to bring us exactly what we're supposed to have at exactly the right moment in the right time. So for me, it's not just timing it's really God's timing and it's been a wonderful experience getting to know people and knowing that the work that we're doing uh, with hashtag values is really touching people and at a very deep level in that we're able to deeply understand the meaning of complete surrender and deeply understand the meaning of uh, leaving, living our life with our values and really understanding that if you take a look at your calendar and, and then you compare your calendar to what you say is most important to you, uh, then that's when you're going to really know whether you are really living a life of congruency. And living a life of congruency is the way to create trust in not only in others but in yourself first. So for me it's been uh, just a wonderful experience to be able to share some of the learnings that I have had not just from my own experience but from my studies and, um, and have an opportunity to make a difference in individuals who are highly 
valued and women who have a wonderful life and a wonderful opportunity and a wonderful desire to go out and make a difference for others for generations to come. I think uh, when we think about legacy and what we're leaving behind for generations to come, uh, I think from a woman's perspective, it's really important for me to leave that for my children and for my children's children. And so the kind of legacy that we're talking about is education. And if we are able to give education to others, then we change the trajectory of their life. And we can actually change the trajectory of people's life just by a smile or giving someone uh, a genuine hug and not something superficial, but just by being humble about it and really understanding that what we have has been given to us as a gift and it's not for us to have or to own, but it's really for us to give it away and to give it away freely so that then and only then will this world become a better place. Thank you so much.